Hey guys, it's Andrew from County Line Adventures. More than anything else, I get asked, where do you fish at? And we are gonna show you. So all I ask of you is hit that subscribe button right now, help us out, and we'll show you some uh, fishing spots and we're gonna start here in Berkeley County, West Virginia. All right guys, as you just seen um, behind me, we're at the Opaken Creek um, Route 45 access. Swing up top here is the access to Route 45. So that way is Martinsburg, and the other way is Shepherdstown. So if you're coming from Shepherdstown, you're going to come outside Shepherdstown, probably about four miles, and you'll see public access signs on the right. If you're coming from Martinsburg, it's going to be on the left hand side. So um, this creek is the creek they the state sucks the trout. So and if you watch any of our videos, this is commonly uh, where we'll get out at on the kayak. So we have a lower parking lot right here, probably take about six or eight cars. And up there right off of 45 is where I like to stay uh, if we're dropping because uh, you can see it from the road. There's probably about room for about 20 to 30 spots up there. So park, walk on down. There's some good access. We're gonna walk upstream first, and then uh, we'll get downstream. So, this would be the point, the get out point, where we uh, we'll shoot videos at a later time of uh, Stonebridge access the Lou Pecan Creek and the Route 9 access um, if you watch us on our kayak videos we're going to come through this area quite often so in the last several years they have uh, have cleaned this up a little bit better than five six years ago when I was first uh, familiar with it um, lots of times there will be kids and uh, drug use smoking all that kind of stuff down through here but uh, they've really done a lot to get local law enforcement um, involved and definitely the cleaning up of the litter there's several initiatives and days they have throughout the course of the year so they don't really look too bad right now but you know you can come down after an evening or a bad weekend or something this can be all trashed up but. so if you go upstream there's a bunch of trees that have fallen down the last couple of years so Kind of a little bit of a calm spot before it gets, turns into a little bit more rapids down under the bridge. Um, definitely not wide open for bank shore fishing, but uh, it's definitely a little bit more open than uh, probably a lot of the spots you're going to find, honestly. straight up the stream that's about as far as we're gonna go not sure there's a path that goes along up there how far exactly you can go up without hitting private property and posted signs and all that so primarily you're gonna be on this side where the parking lot is if you have waiters or anything obviously you can work on down through That's basically what you're looking at on the upstream side of the bridge. The water is up pretty high at this point in this springtime, so this is going to be your best time to trout fish. But there are bluegills and 
bass and catfish throughout the year and uh but definitely in March, April, this is a uh, trout spot. So, get a few good views. And I'm going to go back down to the bridge and we will show you the downstream side. Alright, so we're back to the parking area. This is one of the spots when you, if you're coming downstream from uh, of the kayak. This is one of the first spots. So occasionally you can get over. This uh, current starts to pick up a little bit and I have gotten out here before. There's also uh, probably more times than not. I can probably about to spot 50 yards down or even sometimes if it's really cool maybe more than 100 yards down. So, other side of the street. There's a guy down there. I don't know if he is. I don't know if he has a radar phone, so you can access from that side. There's purple paint down there, so that is private property on that side. The old foundation to the bridge. Several areas down here. Go wide and come back up on the trail here. Probably for the most part, probably down to about 100 yards down is where I typically will see a lot of the people. How far up or down you can go? I'm not 100% sure. There's another shot there. Continue this little path. The uh, it kind of slows down a little bit, and uh, probably down through here is going to be the best place to pull the kayaks out. right up this little bank if you have if you have two people even if you're doing it by yourself it's pretty easy there's a little bit of debris down here on this near side of the bank but that about sums it up Berkeley County trout fishing Opeking Creek we're at 45 bridge access as I asked earlier in the video, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, tell us if you've ever been here. You can find us on County Line Adventures on YouTube and while well, you're on YouTube now. Facebook and Instagram, you can post your pictures of what you're catching or your kayak uh, pictures. We'd love to uh, connect with as many uh, local people as possible. So. I'm going to walk right up here and I'll give you a shot of the uh, other parking lot. So if you have a, you're doing a trip, you can have a trailer, put your kayaks or canoes on. Uh, there's plenty of room right up there. I'm going to walk right up here and I'll show you on the top. So we got this upper parking lot up here, which you probably probably see a couple trailers probably easily 20 cars up here so that's route 45 going up towards martinsburg where that truck's heading and this is just the uh i honestly park up here by the road it's not as much seclusion so if we're going to be gone for a few hours um there are cameras, or had been cameras in the bottom. The DNR had down there for trash and dumping and all that stuff. How often they are viewed, regulated, anything like that, I do not know. So, all right, guys, that is the Route 45 access of the Pecan Creek here in Berkeley County, West Virginia. So, 
uh, share this video be sure to like and subscribe just help us out and uh, we hope to see you down here on the creek